All right, y'all. So we are going to be starting a new unit, which is our place in space. So if you didn't know, there's a picture of our galaxy, which is called the Milky Way. And we'll talk about more about that uh, here in just a little bit. But as you're looking at these notes, like I want you to sit and not just hear the numbers and the distances, but I want you to actually think about like how small we are and how big the universe is because it is insanely big and we're going to do everything we can to help you feel that. So if you've ever asked the question, like, where are we in space? Well, uh, this picture called pale blue dot was taken by, um, a satellite Voyager that went out and it left in 1977 in 1977. Uh, it was shot out into the depths of our solar system, and by 1990, 23 years later, uh, it sent us back this picture. And we'll show you a better version of this picture here in a minute. But this little pale blue dot right here is Earth, as seen from just past Neptune. So at this point, I want you to pause the video go onto the slides or the link and watch this, uh, how unbelievably small or how the universe is way bigger than you think. Um, and see if that gives you some perspective. So go ahead and pause, watch that and we'll continue on. All right. So, uh, Voyager, when it was shot out, this is, uh, where it was when it, uh, took the picture of earth, that pale blue dot picture. So notice how far away it is. Now these numbers here, um, these are astronomical units and we'll talk about what that means. But uh, so this is clearly not scale, right? So the distance between here and here looks the same, but um, it's not, right? This is one astronomical unit and then we multiply by 10. So this is a logarithmic picture as we're um, going by a scale of 10 up and up and up which just is crazy, the distances that we have here. But you should see all of our planets, right? Mercury through Neptune, the, the nine planets of our solar system. Uh, this doesn't have any of the uh, dwarf planets on it, but it does have the Oort cloud, and um, you can see the termination uh, shock, which is where light rays from the sun are now traveling at less than the speed of sound, okay? So they have traveled so far that they're now traveling slower than the speed of sound. Uh, and there's Voyager. All right, so start us off. I want you to look at these different scales, okay? And you can see the observable universe here at the bottom. Uh, and we're gonna talk about what each of these means um, in turn. So first, we've got Earth, right? As the video described, like this is where everything that you know has happened all the vast history, all the writing, scientific discoveries, everything, right? And even more directed for you, right? You are just some small, barely visible on this picture spot on earth. So like even it shows the United States, but like Texas is like the smallest little point on this arrow. And then your city or your house or your neighborhood are so small and that's just on our wonderful blue planet of earth all right so earth is the third planet from the sun as you hopefully remember from my very excellent mother just served us nachos right so my is mercury venus earth mars jupiter saturn uranus neptune so my very excellent mother just served us nachos so that's how you can remember the planets in order um, it's the only object in the universe known to harbor life in the universe that we've ever seen evidence of life at all. Okay. So, um, according to radiometric dating, uh, the other sources of evidence earth formed over 4 billion, 4 billion years ago. So this planet has been here for a long time. Um, life has not been around for that long, but when the planet was formed, was 4 billion years ago. Okay, so we've got Earth. Earth sits in our solar system. Okay, a solar system is a group of planets that is gravitationally bound um, 
to orbit around it. So the orbit is an elliptical path that goes around um, some other more massive body. So in our case, our solar system revolves around the sun, right? The yellow sun. We talked about the heliocentric view in the last unit. Um, and so all the planets and the Oort cloud and um, the asteroid belt and all that is going to rotate around the sun. And that's what makes up our solar system. Now, our solar system is still massive. And we're going to talk about how massive it is here in just a minute. Uh, but here's a good picture of it. Now, our sun, notice how huge it is uh, compared to the other planets. And just look at the size difference, right? Earth is tiny here, uh, whereas Jupiter looks still pretty big, but nothing in comparison to the size of the sun. Okay, now the spacing here is not accurate. This is just to show you the order of planets. Um, and you can see that there are some that you might not have even heard of before. We've got Ceres, which is actually a dwarf planet on the asteroid belt uh, between Mars and Jupiter. And then after Pluto, right, there was always big news about Pluto being the ninth planet. So Pluto is actually smaller than the moon. Okay, one of the reasons that it was demoted from a planet to a dwarf planet. And then we have this other one, uh, Charon, and we have another one called Make Make, which we'll talk about here in a minute. Um, but anyway, there are several uh, planets in our solar system. Now, if we're looking at our solar system, okay, um, this is a chart that shows all the different planets. I'm going to put Pluto on there, <laughs> but not the other dwarf planets. Again, I don't know why the others get left off all the time, but they're out there as well. Um, but some things to notice. Notice the difference in mass of each of the planets, right? So Earth is uh, 5.97 times 10 to the 24th kilograms, okay? So that's pretty massive, pretty similar to Venus. Um, Mars is a lot smaller, right? Um, so is Mercury. But then we get to like Jupiter and Saturn and Uranus and Neptune, and they are massive, right? So these are called the gas giants. And so they are the large ones, whereas uh, Pluto is a lot smaller than Earth or even Mercury or Mars. And so it's another reason that it was dropped from the list. Um, you can look at diameter, right? So that's just how far apart the circle is from side to side. Uh, the density uh, makes a big difference because we are going to be more dense. Notice how dense these first uh, four planets are because they are the ones that are actually made of rock and earth and magma, right? Whereas these others are less dense because they are the gas giants. They're made of um, gases and fluids, okay? Length of day. So this is how fast the planet is rotating, right? So ours is obviously 24 hours. Mars, pretty close, 24 hours, 0.7, okay? Um, Mercury and Venus is super long. So they are rotating very slowly, spinning around their axis. Um, and the others fall in some random amount, right? The distance from the sun um, is 10 to the six kilometers. Now we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how this scales here in just a minute, but um, notice that we start getting some crazy big numbers and these are 10 to the sixth kilometers, okay? So not just 57 kilometers, but 57 times 10 to the six kilometers, huge distances. Um, orbital period, so this is gonna be the length, how many days in a year? So we obviously have 365 days in a year because it takes us 365 days to rotate around the sun. Whereas Mercury only takes 88 days, right? Down to uh, Mars. So whereas Mars, the day length was about the same, right? 24.7. The year length, it's 687 days to a year. So uh, just about double uh, what ours is. So think about like your birthday, right? It comes... Uh, once every year, so you'd have to wait 687 days uh, for your birthday. Uh, and then, obviously, like the farther ones out, like they are so far out that it takes 59,000 days for Neptune to rotate fully around the sun. Okay, and then it's also interesting over here to see how fast we're traveling. So we're traveling at uh, 29.8 kilometers per second, um, and you know the con versions, you can throw that in Google, or uh, if you remember stuff from physics to convert that to 
miles an hour, but you can see how fast the earth is rotating around the sun as compared to others. Now it makes sense that the closer ones to the sun are going to be going faster, right? Um, just as their length of, uh, sorry, their orbital period is shorter. And then we get some slower planets far out. All right. So how big would the solar system be if the sun was the size of a marble? So we're going to check this out. So all that's in the sun, right? And if you look at this scale here, so the sun is huge compared to Earth. Now, I wanted at first to say, well, how large is the solar system if the Earth is the size of a marble? Uh, but when I did the calculations, the distance, if the Earth was shrunk down to the size of the marble, the distance between the Earth and sun would still be 200 meters. So that's not something we can practically show in the school. So I had to go to the biggest object in our solar system, shrink it down to the size of a marble, okay? And so when we shrink the sun down to the size of a marble, um, let's see how big our solar system is. 